Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Kindle Paperwhite in blue. So this arrived today in the post for me and I'm just going to open it up. And the Kindle came like this, it was in a plastic packaging with the cardboard paper around it. So like I said, I got the twilight blue and I got the 8 gig storage option. So I'm just going to pull this open using this tab here. And then here it has this tab as well to pull that out. So once you open the box and pull this side out, the Kindle is actually slotted into here. So this just comes out and it has this plastic around it. And then in this back section, there's a piece of paper which is... Oh, I guess it's just the like safety information about the battery, um, where it was made, things like that. And then in the bottom here is the charging cable. And that's how it's packaged basically, so that now can be thrown out. And so the Kindle comes in this plastic um, wrapper. And on the back here it has all the like warning and safety information, so I'm just going to undo that. And that's it, there's the Kindle. So this is called Twilight Blue. I had the option of choosing the black or the blue, and the black one said it was going to be shipped today, I think it would have arrived today, whereas this one said it was in stock straight away, because I was desperate to get it, I ordered the blue, but it came today anyway. So it took about a week, a week, a week and a half, um, to get delivered, which is fine, but now I kind of wish maybe I'd just gone for the black, because if they're both going to arrive today anyway, it doesn't really matter, I just got the blue one because I thought it was going to be quicker. So this is my very first Kindle. Um, my husband Jeremy has one and he uses it all the time, but I'm dyslexic and I find reading super duper hard, so I've only just got into it recently. I talk all about that in my video that I released last Monday. I will link it here and I'll also link it in the description box below if you want to watch that. You can find out how I'm going to be reading and listening to audiobooks as well, um, just because I find that easiest because I'm dyslexic. So I've now got to figure out how to turn this on, how to get books on it, and I'll report back later on my kind of first impressions and what I think of it. So before I turn on and put some books on there, I want to read out some of the specifications of this Kindle, just so that in case you're thinking about buying one, you kind of know what to expect and, you know, a little bit more information. So this is the 10th generation of the Kindle. It's called the Kindle Paperwhite, and like I said, I got the Twilight Blue colour. Um, you have the option of 8 or 32 gigs. I got the 8 because Jeremy said that he has the 4 and he's got hundreds of books on there and I think he's only filled half of it so he was saying that the, that the 32 would just be insane because you would just never fill it up. Even the 8 I'll probably never fill up. So that's the two options anyway. Like I said the colours you have black or blue. It's apparently the thinnest and lightest Kindle they've ever had and it's compatible with Audible. I think you need to have an Audible account but you can switch between reading the book and listening to the book if you sync up your headphones. So that could be really good for anybody who's on Audible and who wants to read the book at the same time. Um, that could be a good option. It has 300 ppi and it's a glare-free um, screen. So I think that means you can use it outside. You know sometimes with phones, the kind of glare and the sunlight makes it so you can't really see what you're doing. Whereas I think with this, you can always see it, the screen. So that's super good for reading outside, especially here in Miami where it's sunny all the time. Um, it's waterproof, but it's waterproof up to 2 metres of fresh water for up to 60 minutes. If you drop it in the pool, it should be fine. So that's good for, like I said, Miami, for you know places where you're going to be reading by the pool, or somewhere where it might get wet. So this one has 5 built-in LED lights, which makes it possible to read also indoors when it's dark. So like I said, you can read outside in the sun, but you could also read in bed next to your partner and not have the main light on. This was $130 from Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in case you want to buy one for yourself. Um, so I think for $130, I'm probably going to use it a whole lot. Well, I hope I'm going to use it a whole lot, and it'll be well worth the money. And in terms of dimensions, so it has a 6-inch screen. The actual size of the Kindle is 4.6 inches by 6.6 .6 inches, and it weighs 182 grams. Apparently, you can adjust the text size, the font, and the boldness. And the battery will last up to six weeks if you read it for around 30 minutes per day. And obviously I guess that depends on the settings, you know, if you use the light a lot, if you use the Wi-Fi a lot, all these different options will obviously drain the battery a little bit more. But I think with the general settings and you read 30 minutes a day, it should last up to six weeks. Which is awesome because I'm not very good at charging things apart from my phone and my laptop. But things like watches like this, I always forget. So it would be great if it lasts a long time. So 
I'm now going to go and put some books on this, try and figure out how to work it, and then I'll come back and give you a first impressions kind of review on the Kindle Paperwhite. So, I have been playing with my Kindle for the past, like, couple of hours, two hours I'd say. Um, I just want to talk you through what happens when you try and set it up. Um, it was super easy actually, because um, I'd never used a Kindle before, this is my first time. So I was a little unsure if I would know what to do, but basically I've just written it down. So you had to choose the language, so obviously I chose English UK. Um, I had to connect the Wi-Fi to our Wi-Fi, and that's just so that you can send books to yourself. I had to sign in with my Amazon account. And then it gave me the option to sign up to Audible, which I just said no. And you could also sign up for Kindle Unlimited, which I think is when you get, you know, you pay $10 a month and you get unlimited books. But I said no to that as well, because I can get them for free on the online library system. Um, and then it suggested Goodreads, which I said yes to, because Jeremy said it's quite good to keep track of books that you want to read and books that you have read. So I downloaded that. And then it then just showed you a little navigation of how to use it, like where the menu is and where your books are and how to change things. So I've had a bit of a play with it. Um, so far I'm enjoying it. It's very light and um, thin, because obviously it's the lightest and thinnest one they've got. But it is lighter than I thought it would be. Um, I do really love that blue colour. I was scared it would look too boyish, but I actually think it's quite a nice subtle blue that, you know, it's, it's fine for girls as well, basically, is what I'm saying. Um... It's only got one button along the bottom here, which is to turn on and off. And you turn it on and then swipe to unlock. Um, something I have done is I've created collections just so that I can keep an eye on which books I want to read and which ones I have finished. So I can put them in the different collections and have all the books, you know, separated by if I've read them or not. I think it'll just make it easier to figure out, you know, which ones I want to read next, basically. Um, but that's it so far. So once you have finished reading or playing about with it, you just press the button again along the bottom and that turns it off. But actually when it's off, it's never actually, well it's kind of off but it still shows um, an image. It's usually a book that they recommend you to read, obviously they want to sell books to you because they sell books. Um, so that's always going to be there, so that's fine. I kind of do wish it would just be plain but I get it as well, why not? Um, so that's it for today. I'm going to have a bit more of a play about with it over the next couple of days and get back to you with a bit of a first impressions review kind of overlook of how I found it so far. So I'll talk to you in a couple of days once I've used it a bit more. Hi guys, so it has been a couple of weeks since I spoke to you last, since I opened the Kindle. Um, I just wanted to give you a kind of first impressions review on how I'm finding it. So, I absolutely love it. Um, it has this one button on the bottom just to turn it on. And it takes a couple of seconds just to wake up a little bit and you swipe to unlock. So I love that it has the dyslexia font as well as a couple of others. That just kind of makes it easier for me. Um, I also like that you can change the spacing and the margins and things like that on the book. You can kind of customise it to what you, you know, what's easiest for you. So I think that's really cool. Um, I do sometimes press the, like, change page buttons rather than the top button by accident. But I think it's great, I think it's good that you can organise your books as well. So I have, so in my library I have two sections. One of them is books to read and one of them is finished. So I'll read them and then once I've finished, I can, once I've finished them I can pop them into the finished folder. So it's just good to keep an eye on what I've read so far. And also what else, you know, I have the options of reading. I love that it has the book cover on the front as well. So you can kind of recognise it easier with that. So you can kind of see which books they are and which ones you have. It's also quite fun that it gives you book recommendations based on what you're reading so far, so that's also quite good. Um, I haven't charged it yet, and I've got 18%. I guess I'm not reading a whole lot, like I'm reading maybe an hour every couple of days. So I'm doing quite well for me. Um, but yeah, I mean it's just super easy to use, there's, there's nothing really you can say about it. It's obviously lightweight, and I think I've got like 30 books on here so far, which I know is nothing. I know Kindle can hold a shit ton. So... It's been great, honestly. So I did a video recently talking about my dyslexia and how I finally started reading. And what I do is I listen to the audiobook whilst I'm reading along at the same time. So obviously having this means that it's just super lightweight and super easy to change the pages. And I've got the dyslexia font, which is awesome because you don't have that in books. Um, so yeah, it's just super... It's actually really good for someone who is dyslexic because of the font. And because I think you can also... I haven't done it yet. But I think you can select a word and like check the dictionary word of it, like the meaning. So if there's any words that you're not quite sure about, I think you can do that as well. 
Um, the colour blue is lovely. It's a nice kind of, it's not too boyish if that makes sense. Like it's quite a fun blue colour. So I do like that. Um, but yeah, no complaints. Honestly, it's just been brilliant. It's been so easy to use. Well worth the money, I think. Um, especially because you can put a load of, like if you could hold five books, maybe not so much. Because you can put literally hundreds of books on there. Take it anywhere you want with you. It'd be amazing for travelling, for example. So when we go travelling next year, I'll be able to put like 100 books on there that'll keep me occupied for the whole year. You know, you have to keep buying books and selling them and like carrying around an actual book. So I think for travelling it's awesome. Things like vacations and holidays, it's great. Um, but even just for like, I mean my dad's got one and he doesn't go anywhere. So I think they're just great in general for people who like to read. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean obviously it's my first Kindle so I can't compare it to other Kindles and like... Is it better or worse than previous models? I don't know. Um, but I think this one is great. So that's kind of all for this video. I don't really know what else to tell you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.